This is what destiny intended from the moment it entered the star system. We are going to survive. We are going to make it home. I'm telling you, this ship came here for a reason. Destiny is powered by the stars themselves. He and Young are bumping heads, yes. Not sure which camp is the better choice. We just pretend nothing happened. We need to be ready for the next encounter. For the sake of the crew. For the sake of the crew. Well, the convulsions have stopped, but he's completely unresponsive. He's basically in a deep catatonic state. This is Scott, sir. We are in a bit of a pickle down here. We haven't found any other sort of exit or, or access to ground level. We've got less than half an hour. We're not going to make it. And they just jumped. God be with you, Colonel. All of you. Colonel Young? Colonel Young? Yeah. We're all here, sir. I'm on my way. Dr. Rush has just confirmed that our current FTL jump will take us between galaxies, which means it could take some time before we are able to make another gate connection to replenish our supplies. Strict food and water rationing will be reinstated as of now. It also means that any hope of rescuing Chloe Armstrong, Eli Wallace, or Lieutenant Matthew Scott is Join me in the control interface room. I'll be right there. That is all. I figured out why the ship's been trying to conserve power. We're going to fall short. Sure, what? Our destination, the other galaxy. No matter how I do the sums and to what degree I try and conserve power, destiny won't make it across the void. 